We welcome all our members who are connected with us or who are watching our video for the first time. In this video, we will tell you how to root iPhone XS Max, how to repair iPhone XS Max. In this video, we will tell you how you can turn on the touch of the phone that is not working. There are quite a few phones that have an LCD display, but their touch doesn't work if they is plugged into another phone while it works on his own phone. First, we will check its touch connector with the help of multimeter to see if there is any volt break, if there is. What are their connections or what is the reason why it is in volt? The problem is here. And we know with the help of this multimeter that there is no voltage on this touch connector. Now we will check what could be the reason for it not getting voltage. Check the voltage by applying a multimeter to each connection. If the voltage is coming right, then there is no problem with the connection. If no connection is showing voltage, the problem may be with your multimeter or the connection. Thus, you can check the connection of the iPhone with the help of a multimeter and find out the problem. If you need further assistance, contact an expert technician. Using a preheater can be an effective way to separate the layer better. Below is a simple method. Public environment. Make sure you are in a safe environment while doing this. The most important thing when using a preheater is that there is no danger of dangerous heat or fire when working.
Functionality of preheater. Place the preheater at a suitable distance near the layer. Separation of layer. Place the layer near the preheater to soften its contents. Heat the layer slightly with the help of a preheater. Caution. Do not push the layer too far so as not to burn its contents. Be careful when using the preheater and never touch it lightly. Here are some important tips that can help you better isolate the layer, but remember to be careful and complete the job safely. As we are showing you in this video, on the diagram we can clearly see which connection is not reaching our H connector, due to which the touch of our phone is not working, and with the help of this, we can fix this connection, can run. Using a preheater can be an effective way. To separate the layer better, below is a simple method. Public environment. Make sure you are in a safe environment while doing this. The most important thing when using a preheater is that there is no danger of dangerous heat or fire when working. Functionality of preheater. Place the preheater at a suitable distance near the layer. Separation of layer. Place the layer near the preheater to soften its contents. We will connect the connection, which is not showing on the connector with the help of jumper wire. The connection we do not see on the connector. We will check from the top surface of the board to see if the reason for the non-connection is in the upper layer or it is not connected to the IC itself.
while making the connection. Make sure that it does not touch any part of the connected device. We will dry it with a special type of tube, so that no parts touch it or anyone. Then you will dry it with the help of a UV lamp. And this process is mandatory if you do not want to do any further damage. Then we will service the frame properly, so that no paste of any kind or any kind of dust or any kind of jumper wire is stuck on it. It is better for us. With the help of a special type of paste, we will apply paste to the layer to reboil it. If you place the wall board, it will connect better. When the bubbles are well formed, they will balance the top surface so that the bottom connections are better connected to each other, so that there is no more problem for us and we don't have. After connecting these two boards, carefully remove them from the preheater and let them cool down for some time, so that if they cool down to their normal temperature, the connections will connect well and most likely sometimes the foam doesn't need to be restarted. For this problem, with the help of cotton birds we will clean it, which will have glue on it. Now we will connect what we have connected. With the touch connector, where the touch connector of the LCD is. Then again, we will check it with the help of multimeter. Then we will repack it with a better method and install the LCD and see if what we have done has succeeded or failed. And now our phone is in better condition than before or is in the same condition as before. The connectors on the phone will all connect well so that there is no looseness in any of the connectors causing any kind of sparking. Let's turn on the phone.
by installing the LCD and see if our touch problem is over or our phone is in the same condition. That the touch is not working but the LCD display is showing. Well done we succeeded in what we did. As we are showing you from one side, the problem in our same phone was that touch is not working. But LCD display is giving while we are working. Still getting you to check that his touch is working now. We worked on it and it worked.